Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your September uh, energy forecast, if you will, for the elemental energy of water. If you are curious as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, I have a video in the description down below. You can check that out. Also, if you are curious about your zodiac charts, want to know what your elemental alignment would be anyway, um, there is a natal chart done by Llewellyn down in the description. Uh, it's not a sponsorship or anything like that. It's just a really cool product. You get your general um, zodiac reading with all your 12 houses and all the little symbols and everything in it, but then it gives you a 10 to 20 page um, description of what all that is, including what your element alignment is and what that means and how you how it applies to the reading itself so if you're interested that's down there also any of the books materials and cards i'm using are linked in the description as well so we will go ahead and get started with our hexagram which i cast before the video and it is for the I Ching hexagram 40 for our water family. And number 40 is release, which considering the last couple of readings for water has been a little intense, we'll take this. <laughs> uh, it says release the west and south are favorable. Those with nothing to gain from going forward will win good fortune by turning back. Those who do have much to gain from going forward must hasten to be sure of doing well. <laughs> Right off the bat, what I'm hearing is it really doesn't matter what direction you're headed. If you're rushing forward because you have these goals, the dreams, ambitions that you're just adamant you have to have right now, great. If you're kind of in a quiet place where you're not pushing for anything, that's great too. It's really saying that there's a lot of just good energy starting to build for the water element here. So, our foundational line right down here no errors basically this month is not a time where you can really make <laughs> by your decisions you're not going to make big mistakes the focus here is if you don't make choices and you just strictly go with the flow not always the best option but as far as decisions you make this month are actually going to work out well your intuition is really fired up this month and your feeling innately led to directions that are going to be beneficial for you, whether that's taking the time to relax and go do a vacation, whether it's starting a new project. This month, September, is really looking good for water just from our starting point. Our second line, with one yellow arrow, he killed three foxes in the field. Righteous persistence brings good fortune. <laughs> The yellow, I'm going to go with a uh, Western uh, version here, which is happiness, joy, and uh, success. So with one successful move, he killed three foxes. That, does, that doesn't mean you're going out and hurting animals. I mean, if, if you're hunting, that's a little bit different. But it's basically saying that with this one positive move, you're able to achieve your goals. It's not a matter of, I have to go do all this extra, because righteous persistence, bringing good fortune, Stay steady, be upfront and honest with what you're doing, use your integrity with every aspect of your life, and this is what's going to bring you into a positive state. Your third line is traveling with both luggage bearers and a carriage. He attracts the attention of robbers to persist would bring misfortune. So don't bring others into your situation. Whatever it is you're working on, with this third place alignment is saying do this on your own because it's traveling with luggage bearers and a carriage they're focusing on that it attracts the attention uh, um, unwanted attention people who are not going to be beneficial for you so as you go through this month understand that your goals are yours just you your dreams and ambitions are yours you are the one that has to work on them. Other people's opinions, thoughts, uh, attitudes are not going to be beneficial. This month is focusing on you because you're the one that's building this thing. You're the one that's being successful. 
but it's also saying your success is dependent on you, not on other people. So, our fourth place line, the solid one right here. A fumbled release. Put your trust in friends who will come. As you go through the month, there may be somebody that you notice is on the same page as you. You may notice that this person is um, in alignment, supportive, even if you're not stating out loud what your ambitions are. This particular person is actually there to uplift you without being asked. So there is that tr uh, <laughs> trust in a friend. It's someone that's going to be coming in or someone who's already there that's going to maybe step from outside your inner circle to actually coming into the inner circle. And those are the people that are going to be the most supportive because they're helping and supporting you or encouraging you without really knowing what direction you're headed. They can see the same destination. So our fifth place line only the superior man brings release, good fortune. It is up to lesser men to put their trust in him. So when we talk about superior or lesser, superior men are natural born leaders. They're the leaders that everyone tends to be drawn to. They're the ones that uh, have the best ideas, usually in a business situation. And let me make this point clear. A superior man does not always end up being the person in charge. Sometimes the superior man is a, just a, a co-worker, but they're not the boss because the boss doesn't always mean that they're the one in charge. That just means they have a, usually a piece of paper that says they're the one in charge. The superior man is the person who's the most has the most has integrity, has leadership abilities. They have a natural charisma that people are drawn to, and so when the superior man brings release, that means. By this person doing the right thing, everyone else gets to enjoy the benefit of it. And the lesser man putting their trust in the superior man, and these are generic terms, you gotta remember the dating of what we're talking about here. Uh, <laughs> so, putting your trust in this person who is the natural born leader, which all true leaders are natural born, you can't go to class for those. Um, but when you're in those positions and you're around those people, when you are purposely following and actively paying attention to what that superior man is doing, you're going to actually improve your life, even if it's not in the vein you may have thought of to begin with. So stay open to the opportunities. And if you are in that position where you are looked to or as a superior man or woman, um, keep your ego in check because you don't want that to get in the way. Uh, the ego is the quickest way to kill a leader. 100%. <laughs> so, our capstone here. The prince shot an arrow and killed a hawk for perching high on a wall. Everything is favorable. The hawk uh, perching on the wall means it was probably an enemy's hawk. We'll, just go, we'll go with that. So when you have this prince person firing at this thing that is could be a threat in this particular situation, it's showing that you are not afraid of your own liberty. You're not afraid of your own freedom. You're not afraid of the future going forward because you stepped up and conquered the thing that was bothering you. And these last couple of months for water <laughs> have been a little dark, a little intense. Some things needed to be worked out and sorted through. But September, this is the time where you can have that breathing period. This is that time when you can relax and not have things go in reverse even by pa taking a pause you're still benefiting from that in a very massive way for water so now we will hop over to the card section and water uh, covers cancer scorpio and pisces i don't remember if i said that at the beginning of the video but we'll do it now um, i read intuitively through the um with all the divinations that i do and for the tarot and oracle cards, I read week to week, and I do a guide or guardian for each week, a message from source and a lesson or a challenge from the tarot. The guide or guardian will help guide you through the week or guard you from any uh, unexpected things that may pop up. Uh, the message from source, they're positive affirming messages, they're supporting messages. Uh, it's something that 
for that week is a good thing to remember or think back on and then a lesson or challenge is a lesson to work on if you want to do like some spiritual work on that week or a challenge that you may be unaware of just giving you a heads up that this could be something that comes up that week uh, and if the weeks rearrange for you in how the pattern goes that's fine I read week one week two week three so we'll go from there September has four weeks and two days so we'll do four weeks and a bonus week um, and your first week's guide or guardian is number 27 in the dragon path oracle and it's asclepius so i'm not super actively familiar with all of these yet but what i'm hearing with this one is this is most definitely a time of speed for you there's a lot of things that are coming into play positively uh, let me see if i can find the little book here just one second and things are moving in ways that are going to be more beneficial than I, th than you may have expected them to be considering the last <laughs> few months. Uh, there we go. So, Asclepius was the ancient Greek god of medicine, the son of Apollo. Upon meeting for the first time, his opening words were, Your modern image of the catechist is incorrect. He was a healer of great repute in Greek mythology, and in dragon form, it reminds us that he too resides inside us reside healers this particular affinity lies within the practitioner who uses healing planets plants herbs homeopathy and oils flower essences are included in this add to his path the shamanic energy and his affinity with the serpent he is a powerful ally so things have been going a little bit hiccupy for the last couple of months for water this first week of september is really saying now it's time for the recuperation period. You've been going through the lessons. It's not been exactly pleasant. And they're, the dragons especially are like, we're sorry, but there were some things that needed to be dealt with before we could move forward. So this first week you have Asclepius coming in saying, it is time f to let everything kind of rest, allow the healing to occur. You've been going through um, some intensity here the last few months for water, uh, and it's time to allow the lessons to incorporate and allow the healing to expand you're going to become stronger after everything that's been going on um, my readings in particular in the last couple of months for water have been a little bit um, more intensive more dark and it's not that it's been bad it's just there's been some lessons that needed to be cycled and this month going forward it's that release it's the lessons are over asclepius is coming in for this first week especially saying now it's time to heal and recover from everything that's been going on previous. Your message from Source is creative wonderment, following your passion. Creative wonderment, this is that artistic side of the water, working with intuition and with emotion, building that beauty and that amazing life that you really deserve. We all do, and water especially deserves this, especially with everything that's been going on lately. Um, so creative wonderment, as you're going through this process of healing and growth and recovery coming out of all of the <laughs> harsher lessons of life, uh, it's time to tap back into your creative side. And that could be baking in the kitchen, it could be doing some kind of a pastry art, which is, awesome, is just amazing. Uh, it could be a fiber art, craft knitting, cross stitch, it could be writing your story because things that you've went through could make an amazing story going forward. So start writing some of that stuff out. Whatever it is that brings your soul alive in the creative sense, this is the time to work on that. And Source is saying it doesn't have to be forced. Play with it for a day or two. See what triggers your attention. Go that direction. And when it's when it's done, when the spark fi fi fires out, then you move on to something else. This is not a forced thing right now. This is definitely play with what catches your attention in the moment and when it shifts f shift with it it's n there's not really a bad way to do the energy with creative wonderment create creation can't be forced that's the trick to this one your lesson or challenge uh, challenge is the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is an interesting card especially with this deck because it's like it's giving this illusion that this person is almost too trusting of this person and that's not always a good thing so be careful as to who you put your trust in especially the going forward in this first week of september 
they may not have your best interests in heart, at heart. Like the I Ching talks about, you're doing this yourself. You really don't need other people's opinions this week, this month in general, but this week in particular. So be careful who you're listening to as you go forward. Be careful what is being said as you're going forward. Not everyone who claims to be a friend actually is, and that's not to knock anybody. That's just stating a fact. Sometimes those people, they're friends with you because they want something from you or they want to control how you live your life, and that's not always a healthy situation. Your second week's guide or guardian, oh, this is interesting, is number 26, the healer. So you literally have the two uh, healers in this deck coming forward side by side. Asclepius was week one, and the healing dragons in particular, as a full group, are coming in for the second week. And we're still working with this healing energy. Take the time to recover. Take the time for self-care, especially going forward in September. You've done a lot of the work already. You've done some big things. There's been some aha moments. There could have just been some challenges in life where it's like, are we done yet? As you, for the last, Especially the last couple of months. So as you're going forward, this is the time of rest and recovery. We're coming into Maybon in September, which is the autumn equinox. It's the second harvest of the an, uh, ancient eight hal- sabbats. This is a time for celebration and rejoicing as to the bounty of the summer. And this healer energy is coming in saying, you've done a lot you don't need to keep pushing if something's inspired and you continue to go down that path following bliss and inspiration that's fine because that's healing in its own way but there's not a reason to push and drive and chase things with exhaustion if you're already tired take a nap (laughs) literally just do the things that you need to recover your second week's (laughs) uh, message from source is dreams Believe in your dreams totally ties into that taking a nap energy because when we do our best healing, we're warm, we're comfortable, we're safe, and in most situations, we're in a drowsy or sleep state. When we are in those states of quietness, when we're in those states where we feel safe enough to sleep, because you're not going to sleep if you don't feel safe, not restful, not restful anyway, when you're in that sleep peaceful, restful state. Your dreams, your intuition, your inner guidance, your guides, your spirits, God himself can talk to you in such a open way because the ego's out of the way, the conscious mind with all of its monkey chatter is quiet playing over there somewhere, and it allows your soul to actually understand and communicate in a way that you can most of the time translate into your day-to-day life. Not always. I've had some weird dreams myself here lately, and they they do not translate into uh, my day-to-day life in the slightest, which is weird. But the message from Source here is definitely take the time, allow your intuition to kick up, do daydream. Water, you are one of the most, especially the Pisces energies, are the most uh, obsessed with fantasy, with escapism, with letting their brain wander off and enjoying daydreaming. But all water signs this month, take the time to enjoy daydreaming. Watch the clouds and find shapes within the clouds. Go outside and watch a butterfly dance around. Just enjoy being at peace and allow your dreams and fantasies to just play out within the mind. And if it manifests into a physical craft or creativity, work with that. It's really about just enjoying life this month. Your uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot is the six of chalices. Don't get bogged down by people outside of your circle observing you with opinion. Their opinions are their own and they do not have any bearing or hold within your life. These two, if you can see their little faces there, they are not happy. They are observing and you can almost see them with their arms crossed going, are you seriously doing that? I am so tired of people just doing things like that. They're saying <laughs> the messages that I'm getting right now, you don't need their energy. Let them keep their nonsense over there. You have a you've done your work. This is kind of the recovery month for you. Let their opinions stay over there. And if you'll notice in both of these cards, your first and second week, you've got 
an outside person here coming in trying to control you. And in the second week, you've got the observers watching you going, are you seriously doing that? Yes, you are seriously doing that. And it doesn't matter what they think. So let your, you all the <laughs> let yourself heal in the way that is healthy for you. Don't worry about what other people are doing because they are on their own spiritual journey and they need to figure their own garbage out. So your third week's guide or guardian is number seven, magic and manifestation. When we take the time to heal, when we take the time for growth, when we take the time for recovery, magic happens. Manifestation happens. You can put in all the work, literally, all the work in the world. And if you don't give yourself the opening, the quiet time to allow the manifestation to fill it, it's never going to happen. If you've worked in the occult circles for very long, if it's Wicca or ceremonial magic or whatever it is you've worked with, including affirmations and manifestation work, there's this concept of set your intentions, do the thing, and then forget about it. Because you have to allow the universe, your subconscious mind, and your guides and guardians to bring it in. When we are constantly picking at it, we're not done fixing it. We have to keep adding. We have to keep adjusting. So the universe is literally just holding it above you, being like, when are you ready to accept this? You're not there yet. Magic and manifestation come from quiet and rest. Uh, if you listen to Abraham Hicks, everything gets put into the vortex, and it can't come down until we make space for it. That's through rest. That's through quietness. That's through stillness. And it could also be through just cleaning house, like literally physically cleaning your house to make your space open for the manifestation that you're trying to develop. But the dragons this four, third week are coming in to say, let's work on this. You've done, you're still in the rest phase. You're not being rushed. This is an inspirational feeling that you're getting that this third week might be the week to do some fall cleaning, you know, put the lawn chairs, prep them to go in the garage, clean out the garage because it's got all the kids stuff in it or the summer stuff, the camping gear needs to be put away or the house just is dusty from having the windows open all the time. So little things like that that you just feel inspired to do, put on your favorite dance type music and just go to town. Enjoy the work. It's not really work if you're doing it like that because it's more fun. So but that's allowing the magic and manifestation to work in your life this third week. And this is where we come into, as it said in the I Ching, a new friend coming in who sees the mission you're on and supporting because the message from Source is friendship. Nurture your relationships. This is where that inner circle person or that person outside that's coming in sees what you're doing and is supportive of you without knowing all of the details. They are encouraging you because they can see a general outcome that you're heading towards. This is that time of tapping into that. When you work with magic and manifestation dragons, plus you have this message from source of friendship, this third week is where you feel alive, you feel connected, and you feel supported in the people who are there. Does that mean that you're asking for their opinions? Absolutely not. It's saying that they're coming in because they see where you're headed and they want to be supportive. So you allow them to work with you. And they're going, this week especially, is saying there's a lot of really awesome things that are available to the water energies. And awesome could be something as simple as a job promotion, an extra paid day off. It could be that thing that comes in the mail that just makes your day the best day ever. This is the week where some of the biggest uh, excitements are going to occur, at least so far. <laughs> your uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot is the Nine of Pentacles. She's being a little indecent here, so we'll have to cover her up. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is you're almost to the end of a cycle of growth with... Sorry, we'll do this the other side. There we go. <laughs> cycle of growth within the household. And that's where these magic and manifestation and the friendship energies coming in because it's helping you prepare to step into the Ten of Pentacles. You're almost to the end of the cycle. You're almost into the success that you've been looking for. And the Nine of Pentacles is saying, don't give up yet. Things are almost there. Take a deep breath. 
moving forward it's this is definitely a lesson it's not a challenge is what i'm hearing it's just saying you're almost there keep going with the lighthearted and the joyous and the happy that's the way to succeed in the month of september so let's take a peek here at your fourth week if my cards would talk to me oh there we go <laughs> as i say that it tries to throw one at me uh, we have number five piece for your fourth week the peace dragon comes in and it's such a soothing energy it is such a calming energy this month you've done a lot we've talked about that before but this fourth week is now that you have worked on the healing you're starting to understand that process of magic and manifestation things are settling down overall you're getting the friendship thing built back up and you're heading in the right direction overall that is going to bring a sense of peace by the end of the month the peace is that deep peace it's that soul peace it's no it's not going to be the peace of for the minute they're saying that this is that calming one where you've kind of found a new balance a new center and that's going to allow the creation and the manifestations that you have set up all of those positive things that you've been visualizing and you've been working towards and feeling frustration that because they're not showing up this fourth week is when you find that calm and things are just going to start to fill in for you it's not going to be a struggle especially this fourth week this month is very much about calm but this fourth week is saying now you understand where the silence and the stillness is the creation it's in the silence that there is power to create and manifest and this fourth week is definitely calling for you water signs to just enjoy the peace enjoy the quiet enjoy the rest that you have been experiencing this month your le uh, message from source is your intuition trusting your intuition overall your inner guidance your gut feelings those aha moments they are going to be so important to you this month because they're the thing that's going to drive your passion they're the things that's going to help you heal your intuition when you look at this it's it can be all over the place don't get me wrong it can be <laughs> very interesting at times but when you really start to pay attention to it your intuition is guiding you to the beautiful palace the end of your journey there's light along the way that's your intuition that's God source energy sparking it to help lead you and it's the thoughts it's the dreams it's all of those little signs and symbols that come forward that trigger breakthroughs that trigger awakenings this month this fourth week specifically you're going to become very aware of what's happened through the month and you're able to see it more when you hit that fourth week you'll be able to look back towards the first part of the month and go that's what that was all about it's all going to be this as far as this goes it looks like everything's going to be on the up and up as long as you're not paying attention to those outside opinions that are not healthy um but it's definitely you're going to notice that there's been these little subtle urges through the month and nudges from your angels and your guides and god source divine that have been helping direct your intuition so your fourth week's uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot you have a lot of pentacles. You're, this is really much a lot about house, hearth, home, and being grounded into earth. So if you got earth people around, keep one of them close for the month. Because your fourth week's lesson or challenge is the knave of pentacles. You've got, you've come a long ways. And this is the reward. It's basically you're stepping into your own at this point. You have not so much ego they're giving me these different images that are like pride in what you've accomplished it's healthy pride it's this ability of i know what i know i've been there i've done that i'm moving forward i'm in a healthy space now and you've conquered down here in the corner here you've conquered your demons you have overcome things that may have destroyed you in the past and this is the month of understanding that if this is uh a month of integration of expansion but it's not expansion through force it's expansion through peace and rest so let's take a peek at your fifth weeks your bonus week i guess you'd call it uh, guide or guardian and we have number two this is the harmony dragons 
the Harmony Dragons love love. They love balance, they love enjoyment, they love it when things are going in harmonious states. Think music when they all the voices come together, when all the notes hit the right uh, chords. Harmony is the beauty of life working together. And this fifth week of September, you're going to experience that energy. You have went through a healing process of recovery and rest. You've stepped into more of a man magical and manifestation geared energy. You understand more about how to be at peace and you've, dif you've discovered that inner peace that allows the world to go around you and you stay in balance. That is going to create with the Dragons of Harmony in this fifth week. Going forward, you're going to step out of September in a harmonious state. This month was helping you develop uh, the lessons that you have learned, integrate them into yourself, and it's also shown you how much you've grown and how how you've survived things that you didn't you weren't sure if you're going to. It's helped you understand the things that were not going well, why some of those things happened, because let's be real, when you're in the middle of it, you never can tell the reason for the <laughs> stuff that happens, and that's not always comfortable, but this fifth week, you're going to find that balance and that harmony of the, the song of the planets, the songs of nature, the song within your very soul is going to spring forward, and you're going to feel that harmonious uh, integration occur. Your message from source is facing your fears, releasing the power of fear. When you're in harmony, fear has no hold over you. The things that have bothered you as you've went along for the last few months no longer carry any weight. You faced your fear. You can now rest knowing that those things really didn't have hold over you in the first place. It was your attention and focus on them that was causing some of the issues, but you have grown through that. This month is, this last week is just reminding you as this month has went on, you have grown, you have rested, you've recovered, you found that deep point of rest, which equals healing and growth. And the growth is so simple and so subtle that you didn't even notice that it was going on, as was what I'm hearing. But it's because you have faced the challenges of life, you've faced the slings and arrows of other people's opinions, and you've walked past them. Because those arrows only stick if you let them, in this particular instance. So you just, they're over there doing their thing, you're on your path, you're on your mission, and that's the energy that is calling you forward. Your last week's, <laughs> I said this earlier and now it's here, uh, your last week's guide or, or lesson or challenge from the tarot is the Ten of Pentacles, successful outcomes. You have completed this process of growth. You have stepped into a new uh, foundational level. You've went beyond where you thought you could be at a previous point in time, and you've achieved a lot, and that achievement has come through struggles through growths through lessons that you probably didn't want to learn when you put your foot onto the path but you did anyway the ten of pentacles is definitely saying job well done then there even though this is a lesson or challenge the lesson i guess you could call it would be accepting the fact that you've done it you have completed this cycle you've completed this period of growth of expansion and you have four pentacles in your lessons or challenge. So your lessons this month, your challenges this month are all focused on accepting the things that you have been working on and let them come in however they manifest. You, when we put out our, our, uh, into our uh, manifestations, our affirmations, our goals, and our dreams, when we hand those over to source, our job was to create them and release them. God, Source Divine, your guides and guardians, bring this stuff to you when you're ready for it, first of all. And second of all, it's in the way that's best for you. And you may not have a say in how that shows up. The Ten of Pentacles is just saying, you've done the work, accept the rewards from it. This month is really calling for relaxation, for rest, and accepting the things that you've been working on so hard for. So, 
water overall you guys have an amazing month here and judging by the last couple of uh, month-long readings it is a deserved time of rest and recovery so enjoy what comes in spend the time with those who are on the same page and have a similar growth um, focus as you do and going forward just enjoy september as much as you possibly can um, if you are new here hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it, comment, let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions. Um, as long as we're respectful, that's all we can ask for. And with that, I will let you guys go. And water, really enjoy this month of September.